Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Weekly Forex Analysis. My name is George and in this video we're going to be analyzing gold and silver, OXAU against USD, OXAG against USD. This is the analysis for the following week, 27th to 31st of July. Okay, let's jump into the charts and start analyzing. And we're starting with the gold. So this is a monthly time frame, and we, we've seen some crazy moves on the gold. It's this month the price completely smashed and continues to uh, go up for this month. I did, I did predict this move. Actually, uh, my move was uh, up until to this level. I do even have a horizontal line, which was about 18, 20 zone. That was my original profits. Uh, I did, however, I did not get the entry because I was looking at down around this level. But did not get the entry, just did not set up, and I left it alone. But we can see that the price it went way further up than uh, my original potential target, and uh, now the price is approaching to this um, spike high, so all time high, and it's going to be very interesting what the price will do. So if the price is going to go up there, take out uh, these highs, and if uh, is a enough amount of traders who's going to take their profits off maybe up of this break this um these highs the price probably going to start collapsing down or on the break of these highs is going to be more buy with this and it's going to push the price even higher so it's going to be a very interesting and uh, next week so it's uh, most likely the price is gonna uh, get there for the following week because it's only uh, what's 10 probably about 10 20 pips away so it's not that uh, far away so it's going to be very interesting in terms of the shorter time frames i uh, can't really mention much because this is going to be a key point what the price is going to do because the price is very close so that's uh, all time highs so we're going to see how the price is going to react and um, yeah pretty much what it's going to do and if the price is going to show even more strengths and start breaking higher then I might even just uh, jump in and buy which I don't uh, normally do because I do my strategies are based on the pullbacks but there are some exceptions uh, where I decide to just uh, buy it on a breakout or sell whatever depending on what is going on in this case it's gonna be buy uh, so we're gonna see how it's gonna go to the day time frame it's not really much as well uh, ideally the price on the break of uh, that spike high the price is going to start to uh, slowly come down and then we're going to be getting on to the on the upside depending how it's going to come down and depending all the other uh, factors but again i will be uh, i will be mentioning all my trades on my discord channel which is link is in the description and it is free Again, we continue with the silver. I don't particularly trade silver, but it did got my attention because we've seen some nice move towards up. For this month, we have seen this uh, nice move as well as gold is they're both going high. So the silver is nice because um, obviously we had these nice moves and now it's approaching to this uh, monthly high in here. So I'm hoping for the retracement because where, that's where my strategy is based on. That's what gets me a high win rate, uh, high risk reward, sorry, and not the win rate because win rate is not as important. High risk reward. And I'm hoping when the price is going to get up there and test these high we're gonna have some uh, retracement some pullback and then that's where we're gonna be getting on to the buy side and if we're gonna manage to do that uh, after that pretty much I'm gonna be holding this and gold as well I will be uh, holding both of them for uh, higher especially the silver because I'm um, gonna be holding to the uh, high most likely up here maybe up to this level and we're gonna, I'm gonna reanalyze and see if there's a potential to go even higher obviously this is a very long term so this is a real swing a uh, trade potential so that's what I'm hoping for uh, the next week it might not happen next week it might take a longer a time price might want to come up and take out these spike highs before it continues uh, to um to have a pullback and then continue to go higher we're gonna see how it's gonna go uh for now it's under observation and we're gonna have a look at the weekly time frames let's see what we have on a weekly time frame does looking good only one thing i want to mention guys uh don't forget to smash the like on this video i do appreciate your support so 
uh, smash the like on this video as well as if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe i upload our regular videos i upload new videos every single week so don't forget to do that and also click the notification button that you don't miss any of my videos on a weekly time frame uh, so we jump back on a weekly time frame uh, this one does looking a very nice move so this was this week on this week we had this such an insane move so i really like it nothing to comment much on the weekly time frame it just the monthly is uh, that's what I'm looking at the monthly and this is a longer term trade on the entry I do use the daily time frame on my execution entries and sometimes a uh, four hourly time frames but in this case I think it's gonna be also the daily in combination with the higher time frames again I can't really mention the exact levels because this is still a developing um, still developing and uh, yeah I'm just looking I'm keeping a careful eye on this one could be that the, if the price makes its way down to this level this looks like a very good oops uh, very good support let me just put this one up here roughly about 2150 zone could be could be on that on this side but it can it can take uh, quite some time maybe not next week but week after that so I'm gonna be uh, monitoring this um, the silver carefully because I do see a good potential and a good potential trades uh, for this one. We have this uh, really nice up to this is the maximum high, this uh, all time high, which is above the uh, 4750. And uh, yeah, the price does like to come back at some point and test the. Uh, the prior highs or the, the highs, the main highs, what we're seeing in the gold, the price is coming back and potentially is going to take out the uh, all time high. And we might see uh, that in here. Obviously, it's, it's going to take a much longer time. It might take even a year because this is way too far away. Uh, but I'm obviously jumping in a gun uh, in here, but that could occur. But obviously, it will. Uh, it's going to take a very long time if it's going to decide to come up at some point to this level. And don't forget that we are watching the monthly time frame. Uh, but for now, we're going to see and uh, we're going to get the entry. Ideally, somewhere down there, the one I pointed out about here. And then, um, yeah, we're going to be looking, testing this uh, these highs, maybe even higher, depending how it's going to go. And um, yeah, I'll be mentioning all of these on the Discord channel, which I did mention that is uh, completely free. The link is in the description. Guys, before you click away, make sure to smash the like on this video. I do appreciate your support. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video.